If you have ever wanted a mean sugar mommy that won't hesitate to drain you, look no further. Meet Ariette. She is canonical proof that there is nothing in the magic universe that can resist the power of a MILF winking at you. Whenever she's on the field, anything that has been enchanted by this player cannot attack this player anymore, which is some more heavy-handed politicking than a North Korean election. Because for the most part, auras make your creatures better. They're like little power-ups. Now, sometimes that power-up does read, fuck you, you're a bug now, but most of the time it's like a little boost. And so what Ariette is doing is it's shitty, low-grade arms dealing. And once she does it, whether you like it or not, you are teams. You have a de facto alliance. It's like a buddy cop movie meets the Iran-Contra affair. And just in case you thought the North Korea joke was an inaccurate characterization of how this deck's gonna play, their very next ability is getting fat while you all starve to death. This life drain is based off how many auras they control, which may lead you to say, well, they're in black-white. That's not particularly good at drawing cards or making a lot of consistent mana. How many auras could they possibly get into play? And the answer is every single fucking one of them, okay? Creatures in this game that are meant to have enchantment synergies, 45% say draw a card for playing an enchantment. Another 45% say enchantments cost less. 9% let you become a horse breeder for some reason. And the last 1% says fuck you, BOGO. One or two setup pieces is all they need to create a Riz Gatling gun as Ariette charms everything on your board and then locks you all into the world's deadliest staring contest. That said, the Riz is working. The only thing she can't get from me is a break.